Hello and welcome to Using New Lenses to View the Markets, Elliott Wave as an Overlay to Any Strategy, with myself and Juan Maldonado presenting to you today. Just read this disclaimer to yourself, please. And I just want to thank FX Street for having us here today. Great, great website. They do so many great things for traders. So I'm glad that you're here to take advantage of this valuable information that we will impart to you today. I'm just, can, can you hear me? I just want to do a mic check before I really begin. Yes, we're good with sound. Great. So welcome to the webinar entitled Using New Lenses. And no, you don't need new glasses, just new lenses to view the markets. Elliott Wave is an overlay to any trading strategy. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy schedules to be here today. Juan and I really appreciate that. Before I begin, I'd like to tell you just a little bit about your presenters for today. My name is Jody Samuels, and I've been trading currencies and other markets my entire career, starting on Wall Street as an interbank trader. And when I look back over these 30 years, I can't think of any period of time when I didn't use Elliott Wave Analysis, which is today's topic. In fact, you know the phrase, I can't leave home without it? Well, I can't trade without it. And we have taught thousands of students over the years how to read the markets with Elliott Wave lenses. And we are going to impart some of our Elliott Wave knowledge and passion to you today. I will begin, and then I will turn it over to Juan Maldonado. Juan and I have been working together for the last few years at FX Trader's Edge. Juan is a very gifted Elliott Wave analyst. And believe me, I know because I've worked with many over the years at the banks as well, and is the chief Elliott Wave analyst of FX Trader's Edge. I know you will appreciate what he has to share with you in just a few minutes, and you just might take away some great trading ideas after today's presentation. But first, let's get started and take a look at the three pillars of trading success. What are the three pillars of trading success? What does, well, ask yourself, what does a trader need to have in his or her trading arsenal to be successful? What do you require to be successful, to make consistent profits? Because that is what every trader wants. Is that what you want, to be able to make consistent profits? We believe a trader needs to have three things. The analysis, which is Elliott Wave analysis, the strategy, and coaching and accountability. Without one of these three pillars, it is highly likely that the trader will not succeed at trading. Having one without all three, and picture this, is like going on a hiking trip up a mountain without climbing gear. That's right, going on a hiking trip up a mountain without climbing gear. You know what I mean? So let's start with the first pillar, the analysis. We use Elliott Wave for the analysis. And Ralph Nelson Elliott developed Elliott Wave theory in the 1930s when he was bedridden with an illness by studying various market indices over a 75-year period. You must be wondering, how did he do that without a computer? He did it manually. He discovered that stock markets thought to behave in a somewhat chaotic manner, in fact, did not. They traded in repetitive cycles, which he discovered were the emotions of investors or the predominant psychology of the masses at the time. A key pillar of achieving consistency is to have a thorough knowledge of the market to determine possible future scenarios, for example, to be prepared to take advantage of the opportunities that arise. There's nothing like sitting back, not being prepared, watching a market, any market, taking off and not 
participating in it. There's nothing, there's no worse feeling than that. Maybe there is. <laughs> Losing money might be worse. Well, in our system, we use Elliott Wave analysis in order to have market contacts and to increase the likelihood of successful outcomes. You see, it's all about producing high probability trade setups and having the context in which to do it, the roadmap in which to do it. And that's where Elliott Wave Analysis comes in. So you can actually use Elliott Wave Analysis in any trading strategy as an overlay. This is the eight wave cycle. You can see the Roman numeral one on top and the Roman numeral two on the bottom for waves one and two. And, and within that, we have the trend on the left and the correction on the right. This is, there's so much to see in these, this diagram, starting with the Fibonacci sequence, which you may recognize as those numbers, 1, 3, 5, 13, 8, 13, 21, et cetera. Each eight wave cycle can be found in every single time frame and market. And once you internalize this eight-wave cycle, this Elliott wave pattern, you will be able to see trading opportunities abound over and over and over again. And, of course, the wave principle states that these patterns are tied to collective human behavior related to Fibonacci numbers. So not only do we have, see the Fibonacci sequence in wave form, but we learn how to use the Fibonacci Fibonacci sequence to produce ratios, retracement ratios, and projection ratios. So just have a look at this eight-week cycle, and then when Juan talks about his uh, two markets, he's going to do a top-down approach on the Euro USD and the Aussie USD. When he does that, just try to look for these market sequences as he's explaining the wave counts to you. Elliott wave theory is successful because it's based on the science of chaos, which describes how complex shapes look the same at various orders of magnitude. And we call these occurrences in nature fractals, and we see them in the clouds of the sky or in the branches of a tree or in a fractal image, where if you take a smaller portion of the image and then magnify it, you will find a new image with the same structure. This is a fractal image. Isn't it pretty? <laughs> Here's another one. Fractals are generated using very simple Fibonacci formulas. And what that means to you is once you train yourself to see the patterns, you'll be able to see them being repeated in any market and in any time frame because the markets are also fractal. That's right. Markets are also fractal. Find the patterns, see the patterns, learn the patterns, and pocket the profit. Once you internalize the ideal Elliott Wave setups, the eight-wave cycle is ideal, and the eight-wave cycle offers you trend trade opportunities and end-of-trend trade opportunities. Once you internalize these setups, you will take those ideal end of trend trades and the ideal trend continuation trades. It's really that simple. And when you learn how to do a top-down approach, and when you're able to see the eight-wave cycle in a bigger time frame, watch out. Because then when you move down to a smaller time frame, you can capture the market move inside the bigger time frame. There's really a lot to talk about. There's, there's just so much, but I, I hope you can tell that I'm very passionate about this work. I must be if I'm still doing it after this long. The second pillar to reaching the path to success is to have a highly effective trading strategy which is easy to understand when making a trading decision. And after a good analysis, which is daily wave analysis, the strategy is used to identify the exact entry point, the exact stop loss level, and the profit targets. Also, as important is to know when to trade, when to take those high probability trades, and when to stay out of the market. And removing the emotions is key. And how do we remove the emotions? by having a trade plan. And sometimes it's just as important to stay out of the market. 
because what traders typically do is have a good run, make lots of profits, and then give them all back very quickly. Increase the position size, not stick to the money management rules. Can you relate to that? I'm sure everybody can relate to that. So this trading system called Elliott Wave Ultimate, this is what we use, what we've developed over the many, many, many years, is the ultimate strategy, the convergence of Elliott Wave, Fibonacci, and Harmonic. See, there are lots of Elliott Wave traders out there. There are lots of Fibonacci, strict Fibonacci traders out there, and there are lots of strict Harmonic traders out there. Well, we put all three together. So I would I would recommend, if you don't know one of the three, to do some good study, studying on one of the three, because when you put them all together, you have the precise analysis. It's just incredible. And when you mix the simple strategy with the precise analysis, what do you get? You get high probability trades, which translates into profits. So this is just a manual trading system, which identifies six different setups. And you will need to do the same to identify end of trend setup and trend setups, because they're going to be different. They're different setups. And the good thing about a trading system, and this trading system in particular, is that it removes the subjectivity of Elliott Wave counts because it works in conjunction with the Elliott Wave count. So if you have your own trading system, for example, and you have the wave counts, let your stra- use the Elliott Wave count as your overlay and let your strategy take yourself into your position and give you your uh, stop loss and your profit target. So this is our chart setup. This is the strategy using the convergence of Elliott, Fibonacci, and harmonics. I'm not going to go into the details right now. I want to get to the wave count, but it's a combination of moving average. And when I look at this, I just see the, the I hope you can see it as well, the eight-wave cycle that we've identified earlier for you. And it's just, I'm looking at this, and it's just like a movie. It's a, it's a picture. It's a picture-perfect ideal setup, and I know exactly what trades to take looking at this setup. The third pillar is coaching and accountability, and we use the trading team approach. So to combine all the knowledge and apply it properly, you need coaching, an expert to evaluate your trade and give you feedback to correct the mistakes and polish the entries and the exits. And it doesn't have to be a coach. It can be a fellow colleague. It can be a colleague, another trader. You just need to get a little – get a trading buddy. Work with a trading buddy. As long as you know the same – Trading, if you're trading in the same way, that's ideal because then you can correct each other and you can even check trades with your trading buddy. So it's much easier to be accountable to someone else because then you're not trading in your own head. You're not in your own head. We need to get out of our head and we need to work with somebody else. So do me a favor and get yourself a trading buddy. Otherwise, trading can be a very lonely, lonely uh, job. Can it not? So let's uh, let's bring back the coaching and accountability, and you can do it yourself. And, of course, you need to practice and apply your setups over and over again using proper risk, money management, and trade management strategies. So these, this is all part of learning how to trade as a business. This is our team. So we also use a team approach. We provide market education. We provide coaching. We have trading rooms. We have we have two Forex trading rooms in the New York and London markets. We have an end-of-day stock room for stock and options traders. And we provide Elliott Wave counts on many, many markets for our students. And if you wait until the end, I'm going to show you how you can get the Juan's latest wave count on 11 markets. So just stick around until the end after Juan does his presentation, taking us through the Euro USD and the Aussie USD. So what have we learned so far? 
that new and seasoned traders need a powerful yet easy to follow method for latching on to market moves to generate consistent profits. That's your strategy. That means a simple and precise approach to trading. Precise is the analysis, the Elliott Wave analysis, the Fibonacci, the harmonics. That's the precise approach. You need a roadmap. You need a precise approach. And our precise approach starts with Elliott Wave analysis. We learned that the markets are fractal so that by learning ideal setups, you will begin to have high probability trades so that the marginal trades will simply fall off books and and what remains is profits. And that's really key. I can't stress that enough. You want to know when to get into the trend, when to be in the trend, and not look for a market reversal until the end of the trend. So do me a favor, prepare yourself a checklist for the end of the trend because so many traders try to buck the trend. If you talk to, well, it's true, it's true that that so many retail traders like ourselves take profits too soon and try to buck the trend. If the trend is up, sell too prematurely. So these are skills that you can build, that you can work on, because the idea you might start out just wanting to make profits, for example, so buying and then taking profits in a trend, and that's great. And as you learn more and you get more developed as a trader, well, then you're going to set different goals. Your goals might um, might change to, okay, now I want to extend my profits, learn how to extend my good trades and limit my losses. Because you can be a trader with a one-to-one risk-reward ratio where the size of your win equals the size of your loss. But think about it. You have to have a better than 50% track record to make profits that way. But if you can extend your profits to be twice that of your losses or three times that of your losses, your percent profitable trades goes down. You don't need over 50% of your of your trades to be profitable. So these are just numbers that you can manipulate and work and work on these goals as traders, as you become more and more experienced. So it's all a matter of knowing what you're looking for. (laughs) Like an elderly couple holding each other or a Mexican guitar player serenading his girl. Two different ways of looking at the same picture. What do you see? What lenses are you wearing? So this webinar is really about getting you to use new lenses, new Elliott Wave lenses, which which can be a new paradigm for you, to be able to look at the same picture differently with different lenses. That's really, really very important to do. This might be a skill that you've been thinking about learning for a while and you haven't really, uh, maybe you've been, I don't know, thinking that it's too difficult. Well, every everything takes time, yes, but it's not difficult. You have to start somewhere. And just by learning the eight-way market cycle is a great way to start. And there are some rules that you want to learn also with Elliott Wave. And you can even break down the corrections in a very simple way with Elliott Wave analysis. So what have we learned? We, we've learned that we need the analysis, which is Elliott Wave, We need the strategy, whatever strategy you're using. If it works, it's fine. We have our own strategy, which uh, uses the convergence of Elliott, Harmonics, and Fibonacci. And then the third piece is coaching and accountability. So without further ado, I would like to welcome Juan Maldonado, who will help you look at the market in a different way with new lenses as he uses Elliott Wave to analyze the EuroUSD and the Aussie USD for us. Thank you. Thank you, Jody. That was fantastic. Hello, traders. My name is uh, Juan. I'm here today to show you some wave counts. This is very exciting. I am going to demonstrate how important it is for your trading to understand the behavior of the market 
to have that context to use then your strategy and have a successful trades. Here I'm showing my euro dollar chart where I have the monthly chart and price has started, as you know, the, the euro started of the year 2000, 2001 and price started making this three wave structure. So all those uh, 10 years where the market had been uh, trending was very easily to trade because all the trend strategies were applied here and just buying on the, on the retracement and selling on tops, buying on retracements and selling on tops. So that was, was very easy to trade the euro uh, since the uh, year 2000 and, and uh, 2008, 2009. But after that, we start seeing the price making a corrective cycle. And I'm sure that the Elliott Wave technique to understand the market is fantastic, especially for these complex uh, consolidations. There, there is something important about Elliott Wave, and is that, uh, that some analyst says that can be subjective because uh, I'm labeling this ABC, but maybe you start uh, finding some other counts and you are going to see that someone else is labeling this as a one, two, three, four, and five, right? Why not as, a, as an impulse, as a five wave structure? So you're going to say, okay, uh, uh, Juan is labeling his waves as an ABC and I'm seeing other counts as a one, two, three, four, five. So, so that means that the analyst can place the labels where, where the analyst like, and that's to, that, that is not objective for the trading. Because after the price happened, it's very easy just to post, uh, to, to place labels uh, on the chart. So precisely this week, I received a fantastic question from one of our, our students. So he sent me his count in this way. One, two, three, four, five. And he told me, why are you, are you labeling this as an ABC? I'm seeing a, a five-way sequence very, very clear. Of course, I, I have my reasons about uh, some details inside the, the structures. But the answer about this is that it doesn't matter if you're labeling this one, two, three, four, five, or ABC. Uh, for your trading, you are saying exactly the same. If you are saying, if this is a wave one, for example, then price is going to make this corrective sequence and you will have a wave two or you are going to have the continuation of the corrective cycle that I'm suggesting. So we are saying the same in terms of price action, in terms of targets. So that's very important to know that uh, is, is not only one way to count the waves, but the most important part is to know the forecast and to know the targets and to make money, of course. That's the most important part of, of trading, to make money. Okay, so now that we understand here this uh, monthly chart, we know that we are inside of a sideways pattern. That, as you can see, is a triangle. I have these uh, green lines. You can see that price is making a, a triangle, but I, I'm going to talk about that on the weekly chart. Okay, so let's focus here on this uh, triangle, and this is, has been fantastic trading the euro inside this structure. I actually don't understand how how can how can someone trade this without knowing Elliott wave. It's very difficult because Elliott Wave gives to the trader the context of the market and the invalidation price levels and targets. And here we have the weekly chart. We are in a triangle. Uh, let me tell you something about the Elliott Wave theory triangles. And is that the triangle also has five waves inside. In this case, I'm counting the waves, and this is very simple. I'm counting the waves of the triangle as the wave A green, B green, C green, V green, and E green. So those are the five waves inside of the triangle. The triangle is a continuation 
pattern, a continuation of the previous wave A. So we have a move down, consolidation, and then another move down, as Dow theory says. So we have uh, this triangle. Now we understand where we are. Understanding this, of course, is important because now you can you can start thinking, okay, now, now I'm seeing uh, uh, the, that we are inside of a triangle. That I, uh, I have to take my, my trades with these structures. It's, it's, not, it's not a matter of a buy and hold for 10 years right now. It doesn't have any sense because we are correcting. We are inside of a corrective structure, and we need to trade inside these waves. We need to ride the waves to navigate the waves. Okay, so as you can see, the active wave is the E green of the triangle, the last wave. And we have been inside this uh, cycle since the, uh, since the year uh, 20, 2012. And, and also remember that the, this end of the wave, D green, wow, that was fantastic. And I, that was one of the best trades that we did in our trading room. So, so that was fantastic because as you can see here, it's a bullish engulfing candle just at the end. Of course, with our strategy and with other, the other indicators, we found that that was the end and we started trading all this move up and it was fantastic, the trade. And now we are inside the E-wave. Okay. So after the wave number, the wave A blue in circle, it's going to come a B wave. And we are talking about three wave structure, three wave structure, something very simple, just the price making an A, B, and C up. That has been the forecast. And the market is fractal, as Jody explained with the example of the tree and the example of the clouds and, and that nice image. So that means that the market is fractal and we have waves inside waves. So always when you are analyzing the price action of any instrument, you need to start from the monthly chart, from the weekly chart, from the higher time frame, and then start moving down to the daily chart, to the four hour chart, to the hourly chart, and finding waves inside waves and waves inside waves and everything needs to be perfect inside. Perfect. So, of course, the lower time frame waves are going to give you confirmation that your uh, higher time frame counts are good. Of course, this takes more time to understand, but the purpose of this webinar is to give you some context of the market to, to trade uh, in, a, in a safe environment for your, for your capital. Okay. So we know that we are inside of the E-wave green, and that also means that the E-wave green has three waves inside, A, B, and C. That also means that we are inside of the B-wave blue. The B-wave blue is the wave active. So let's go now to the daily chart. And I'm going to hide here some of the waves because that's the plan. We are going to analyze each time frame. I, I'm thinking that here I can show more waves. Yeah, that will be fine. Okay, there we go. For the wave B, blue in circle, right? That's the one that we are studying. We have the internal structure as an ABC again. A, B, and C. While all the traders were talking about buying and the continuation trend, if you remember at the end of October, on the trading room, and I remember that was a Monday after, after a weekend, of course, that we start talking about the end of the B wave magenta. And that was also fantastic. I think that this was the, the best trade of the last uh, six months on the euro or the last three months on the euro. This was fantastic because we found the reversal just here. Uh, we have a fantastic evening star pattern 
here at top. Also, our system uh, pointed us that that was the top. Uh, the 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 price was losing momentum. We knew that this was corrective, that this wasn't an impulse. And our first target was around the 3656 area. The, then the second target was at the uh, trend line that I have here, the black one. We knew that we were we were going to have some sideways uh, price action once we once the price met the trend line. Then we have this breakout. We also found the end of the wave of one black. And now we are inside of that way too long. Okay, so this is very exciting, but let me explain this very well for you. So we have that, uh, remember, we are inside of the B wave blue in circle. Don't forget about that wave because that's important. And that's our medium term target. The B wave is, uh, the target will be the 127.50 area, because this is going to be a flat, and this is going to be a move down, and then price is going to move up again after the B wave blue to complete the triangle. So that's why it's so important to understand the market uh, behavior with the Elliott wave technique. So now let's focus on this wave one, because it's the, the, the most important one, because it's going to give you the context for your trades on the next uh, month. And we have a complete five-wave sequence moving up for the wave number one black. So we have an impulse down. Then we are waiting a wave two at the 50% of retracement, 135.64. Also, that's the previous wave four. So we have a convergence of targets at the wave four, 50% of retracement, and the pullback of the trend line. So that has been our target when we found the end of the wave one. And what's the strategy? Once we find the end of the wave two, now we are waiting, we are inside this kind of sideways pattern that is the wave two. And once the wave two is complete, we are going to start uh, the, the short trades. Checking the, the hourly chart. Uh, and of course, I think that, that you may uh, ask, it's a very frequent question about how you can tell, how you can know that wave two already ended. And that's where our exclusive strategy comes in and, and give us uh, the answer. But of course, uh, there are a lot of techniques to find the end of the trend, to find the end of the move, because once you find the end of the trend, the end of a, a move, uh, an impulse of a corrective cycle, that's where you need to start taking the trades. And it doesn't matter the time frame because this works on the monthly chart, on the daily chart, on the four hour chart, uh, on the five minute chart, on the tick chart. This works on all the time frames and on all the markets. So, so that's the answer. You need to, to find uh, and you need to have in your trade plan the way to find the end of the trends. So after the wave two, we are going to start seeing the price moving lower. Now let's take a look at the Aussie. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this a little bit faster, of course, because now we understand what's the idea with the added waves. And I would like to, to focus here on the weekly chart with the three-wave structure that we have been suggesting for the wave X. So what's the plan on the long term? We have a move up, something very simple. Now we are having a move down that I'm calling this the wave X, and then we are going to have another move up. Okay, that's the context for the long term. We are inside this consolidation. Now let's check the daily chart. Okay, now let's go to the weekly chart first. Remember, the markets are fractal waves inside waves and more waves inside waves. So from the monthly chart, we said that we were inside the wave X orange. That also means that we are inside of the C wave orange of a lower time frame because the wave X has a three wave inside, A, B, C. Right? Simple. So we are inside the wave C green. Let's move to the daily chart now. 
One of the characteristics of a C wave is that it's a five wave sequence. Is a five wave sequence. Okay, so here we have the wave one, blue, wave two, blue, and in this case, let's add some Phoebus because the end wave is also related with, uh, with Fibonacci levels. So here in this case, we, the price went uh, between the 261.8 and the 423.6. If you were trading this uh, trend, uh, the target that we had was the 261.8, right? We know that below that level, for example, it's, uh, it's very risky to, to continue with uh, the medium term trade because in that moment we start seeing the price were losing momentum. That means that the trend is tired and it, it's gonna start the, the corrective cycle in any moment. So after the target, it's very risky to, to have the trade open. But that also was a fantastic setup. Okay. So now we know that we have a wave one, a wave two, a wave three, and price then start making a wave four. Also here, uh, we found the end of the wave four. Uh, and that was also fantastic because I'm going here to hide some of the waves because I know that some, some traders were thinking that this was a continuation up and, the, and maybe that was a reversal because the Aussie has been losing price uh, against the dollar since uh, May with this wave three. So I, I'm sure that a lot of traders were thinking here that that was the bottom of the market and price was going to start making a reversal. But in our trading rooms, we, we were analyzing this price action and we were having fun here, understanding what's going on. And we found that that was the end of the wave four. And this was a continuation I'm adding also the FIBO levels for the retracement of the wave number four. And we have the 50% of retracement exactly there. We have a beautiful bearish engulfing candle at the 50%. We have also the breakout of a trend line right here. We have the breakout of the trend line plus uh, of course, the confirmation of our strategy and the uh, and, uh, support in that moment, 95, 22 area. So we have breakout of the trend line, uh, bearish engulfing candle, uh, the price reacting at the 50% uh, of the of the feeble level of the retracement. We have a valid wave count. So we knew that this was a continuation pattern. And it's going to make a wave five down. Okay, so you, you, you are gonna, I'm sure that with this information, you are gonna be able to, to write all this move down with success. Okay, let's go to the four hour chart. We are seeing now that price has been making the, um, the wave one, wave two, and now is at the wave three. Target for the wave three, and this is the target for this week that we set on last Sunday night. 92.07. That's the 100% for the wave three or the quality setup between the wave one and the wave three. That's our target for the Aussie this week. And as you can see, when you learn how the, how the market behaves, when you under, understand the context of the market with uh, Elliott wave, it's so powerful. And if you add a great strategy that is going to show you where when to entry the trades, wh when and where to close the trades, to take profits, to set your stop loss. Wow, this is powerful. This is very powerful. And it's fantastic. And you are going to understand the market. And, and it's, it's great. Elliott Wave is fantastic. So that's my presentation for today. It was a pleasure to be with you. Uh, today, so thank you very much for your time, and back to you, Jody. Hold on one second. If you go to our website, 
fxtradersedge.com, that's listed right up here, you will see a little sign-up form on the website to get the latest wave count, instant access to our free trader zone. We have a free trader zone. We would love for you to access it. We have just posted, Juan has just posted, latest wave counts on 11 different markets. So this is where you get it. This is our our website. If you have any questions, you can contact us at support at fxtradersedge.com. Also, some of you asked about Motive Wave. If you click on software here, you can get a free two-week trial to try it out and ask us questions about it. That's that's absolutely fine. But now let me take you inside the free trader zone to show you what we have in there. So this is what we have in there. No, she's not in there. <laughs> Join the free trader zone where you will find the latest wave count report on 11 markets. The euro, the pound, the Aussie, the dollar yen, the euro yen, the S&P, gold, oil, the dollar index, Apple, and Google. Because we really do uh, label, wave label, a smattering of different markets. So you might not trade all of these markets, but we have enough in here for you to, I'm sure you trade some of these markets. You can also see our claim 10 Habits of Successful Traders video series, which I'm sure will help you in with your trading habits. And if you're, I'm sure none of you are new to Forex, but for beginners, your road to financial freedom, this is also a five-part video series on Forex. We have Elliott Wave FAQs. We have a store, scorecard in here that you can fill out to see how, where you are in terms of your, your trading and what the next steps might be for you. So this is a great free resource that we have. Again, all you have to do is to sign up right here, put your name and email, submit it, and then you're in, and then you will just need to log in with your login information, which you will get by email. You will also see what our trainings offerings are right on the website, and I urge you to please, so Elliott Wave Ultimate is our latest training. Elliott Wave Ultimate, it's the convergence of Elliott, Fibonacci, and Harmonics, we just, we're just starting it now, a new, um, so we're just starting all the webinars for our new students right now. So if you're interested, now's the time to join us so that you can be a part of our webinars. We have live webinars twice a week, and we have all the modules in the website. And that's learning, you're going to be learning Elliott Way from A to Z, Fibonacci and harmonics. It's just, it's a fantastic course. It's the culmination of really 30 years of trading. It's all in there. It's, this is what we offer. So I'm just answering your question. So that's all we have. That's all we have for you today. I want to thank you very, very much for being here. Juan and I are happy to answer your questions. So please contact us at support at fxtradersedge.com. And we will get back to you immediately. So I just want to thank you so very much. And I hope you enjoyed this webinar. And we look forward to doing more for you. Okay. And I see that there are some questions here. You do not have to have the software. No, you don't to take the course. I see. No. And you do I keep positions open on weekends so I you're asking me if I do so I I'll answer that question for you if you're a day trader you should not take keep positions open on weekends if you're looking at the bigger time frame looking at the daily the weekly then you can keep positions open on weekends it depends what your trading temperament is and what time frames you're trading so thank you very, very much, and that's, that's it.